to show you something. See, I want to show you that you do know the way. I want to show you that you do know how to be good fruit. Because see, we have to really do something important that Apostle Paul has said to us. That we should have power over our own flesh. See, that's, what, that's the battle. Remember, see, I was talking last night to some folks. I said, listen, you can't forget. Watch this. You can't forget that the spirit war, war against the flesh. And the flesh war against the spirit. See, so what's in the middle? War. You see this? So I want y'all to think about this. If you ever did anything in the garden, you can't just plant the seed, pour some water, and then come back three months later. You know what I mean? Well, you'll come back, stuff been ate up, stuff didn't grow, right? So you got a war for that fruit. Right? If you want some good fruit, see? If you want, if you want good fruit, you got a war for it. You gotta understand that you have to really watch this. The word says, "My people perish for a lack of knowledge." So you see how he, when he says he get you by the word, see the more you learn, the less Satan can deceive you. The more you learn, the more you can be delivered. Because you start finding out. Okay, wait a minute. Y'all said this right here. This is where a stronghold is. Y'all said this over here. This is what I, I've done. This is why I need to repent. And get free of whatever came associated. You see this? Then when you start to walk in this way, don't it look like your path start to become more and more straighter, don't it? Start to see. You're no longer veering to the left. And veering to the right. Start to go this way. Because let me say this, when you are begotten by his word and you start to perform the word, then guess what? You start to see a different fruit yourself because you begin to act according to the word. You begin to make all your decisions according to the word. You begin to see Yah begin to lead you according to his word because that's what's in you guiding and directing your steps. Y'all hear this? And his people to find his righteous branch in the earth. Do, do you understand? Good. Right. See, some of y'all just raise your hand. Like, yep. Yep. Remember, the word says, God searches the earth daily. Seeking after those who are seeking after him. See this? See this? I told you. I told you you better be good fruit. He know a strange call from a familiar call. He know a strange fire. Right? From an appointed fire. He know that. Y'all hearing this? Look at this. Elohim sought to bring them into a newness through a washing and a cleanse. You understand? Oh. Raise your hand. See, them is this people. This royal noble seed. Not everybody that says, I love Jesus. You see what I mean? That's what I'm asking. Do you know this, this people? He sought to bring them, yes. the noble seeds. Do yes. you understand? Yes, you know, see, some of us hand going up so That's why I had to ask it again. I know church still working in there. But he said, he, no, he ain't said it. Even Jesus said that he brought them out of the world. And he prayed for them. I pray not for the world. 
how we gonna deal with that? You see what I mean? So you, I'm telling you, special. I'm trying, look, how many times I gotta keep telling you you are peculiar? You special. You told. You here. You set apart. How many times I gotta tell you? Huh? Y'all hear it? Look at this. Y'all will cut off all uncleanness from his people and set them apart with his spirit. If you understand, raise your hand. Hallelujah. So listen to this. If you know how to grow, remember you, you was planted. See, being planted, you got to know how to grow. You got you to put your hands in the dirt so you know how to grow something. That you know there is a special way to grow something. Not, he ain't going to just grow. You got to know how to grow. You got to know how to grow. You're not just going to grow. See, that's what, so that's what's happening. See, now we didn't come to the pinnacle and the message that we've been coming to the feast, but we didn't know how to grow. We've been showing up, but we still didn't know how to grow. That's why we didn't come to prepare. See what I mean? We came to come. We didn't come to prepare to be ready to be reaped. Because we didn't know how to grow. There it is. Now it's getting lighter in here. Now we're coming out the cloud. Some of y'all had a shield over your ass for about 20 minutes. Now we're coming through, but now that's, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Woo! Boy, we be missing. Jesus. So, listen to this. Let's check yourself. Do you not understand a little leaven leavens a whole lump because you have walked in the understanding of Passover? Unleavened bread. Don't you understand that more? Yes. Do you remember? There's a point you didn't understand that. A little leaven, leaven the whole lump. You go, oh, okay. It's like one bad apple spoil a whole bunch. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. See, it's about being set apart so we can't let not one ounce of uncleanness be in the midst. Y'all always talked about putting the evil away from us. Y'all always talking about separating you from his people. Cutting you off. Tim, I'm a parent. I'm like, I don't want to be cut off from your name. I don't want to be cut off from your people. These are my people. What do I got to do? Do you hear me? What do I got to do? See, like, we ain't thinking like that. Listen, shepherds, y'all hear me? They ain't asking me questions. What do I got to do not to be cut off from these people? I don't need them. Right? I don't need them. I go find some more people. I'm like, no. I know this word, the bread is. I don't need to be cut off. What do I got to do? Y'all listen to me. If that sounds, if that sounds cultish, then it is. Because this what I said in the book. Y'all say he'll cut you off from his people. I'm like, I ain't trying to be cut off from your people. See, watch this. This is a mistake people make. See, when they do wrong, all of a sudden, you not his people no more. So that's all right to cut you off. You see this? So it's all right to cut you off. See, that's why I'm like, uh-uh, prepare. See, when you when you are growing in the earth, your mind changes. See, the world is how you think. But in Israel, you think, I cannot, I can't afford to be cut off. Worst world I go, you have the word to come and walk. <laughs> Where will I go? Let me tell you something. You see this? I told you your eyes opening now. See, look, look, listen to 
Israel, y'all gotta listen. When I first seen that, when they got asked in John, where will, where will we go? I said, wait a minute. I said, look at the Holy Spirit. Hold up. You gotta think about what they said. They weren't trying to find nowhere else to go. Where am I gonna go? See, watch this. Let me ask you this. Marco, did you, did you hear his voice? Huh? When he spoke, was you hearing Yah? You looked on the book and you saw this word Yah said and not that all. Oh, I just believe him. Word, you, it resonated with you where? In your heart. You see what I mean? So that means that was the words of eternal life. You see what I mean? You see this? You can't, don't take it for granted, Israel. Don't take it for granted. Love y'all. The word said, be offended by nothing. That means you gotta get in line, boy. You gotta grow right. You hear me? That's how you know you're hearing the word. 